All right, good morning, Bears. How are we doing today? It's a Monday. It's our first Monday, our first full week. Remember, Mondays are a little bit different than the other days. No advisory today. Starting off with period one, but then the rest of the day just looks like every other day of the week for you guys. If you go to Science First, then you go Science First every day after your advisory or elective. And then you just follow the same system of the day. Well, Mondays are a little shorter time. Monday's usually where we kick off our slideshows, but because it's a little bit of an extended week, uh, we've already started our slideshow. Let's take a look at what some people have done. So here we have Jordan. Jordan got off and running. Now, anywhere, we're trying to teach you guys how to open your slides full slide. So when you go into a slideshow, and those of you that have not been able to open one yet, don't worry, we're gonna get that done today. Those that have started, and at, once you get yours open, I'm gonna teach you top slide. Every day we do a top slide, and that top slide is the first slide we look at, and if I share your slideshow, we're gonna focus on that one top slide. So that needs to be your best work. Today's top slide, before we add our new one, let's first go open. So you find something that says open in Schoology should help you guys, so click open. If you cannot find that, I'll teach you how to get to your slideshow another way. So here's our introduction slide. Later on, at the end of the slideshow, I'm gonna let you change this, and this can be your own title slide. But for now, just leave it as is. Now, always slide number two is what we call our top slide. And our directions, which should have been done by now, was everybody should be in groups, you should have watched the welcome video, you should review the syllabus with your parents, and then, after watching some videos on our Highland Bears Cinema link, which is on our syllabus, you're supposed to kind of predict and infer based on evidence what you're going to learn this year. So let's see if Jordan did that. I think I want to learn about China geography. You all have that because I gave it to you. I hope I can learn about hurricanes and how they are made. He changed it because it said I hope I can learn about hurricanes because I was in one. He probably was not in one and so he changed it. Good job Jordan. And let's just skip down a bit. I hope to learn about Egypt. Fantastic. <clears throat> I think I'll learn about earthquakes are marked and sometimes make tsunamis. Very good. Now, as we grow as writers, these sentences, you don't have to do this now, but always be thinking about when I say something, what's the evidence? So, for example, also, I want to learn about the Great Pyramids of Giza. I saw in a video they visited there in a virtual tour. I think this is fun. So now there's evidence of what you're saying you're gonna learn about. Good job, let's look at somebody else's. Go to Brian's. Brian G, let's see how he's doing. All right, Brian's got seven, which is fine. I said list five to 10. You can do 10, you can do five, he did seven. I hope you get to learn more about my teachers. You're learning more about your teachers right now and I got a message for you, I've just posted on uh, IG. I went to learn English, that's great. I went to learn math, I really want to learn about history. Good job, Brian. So he's got his list. Let's see what else we have. I think this is, I'm not sure who this is because the title's been changed, but we'll figure that, oh, it's Emma. So Emma, good job. I think Emma had to actually create hers the other way, which is great. Let's take a look at Emma's. I think I'm gonna learn about the weather. I think that we're gonna learn about the Boston Tea Party. That you will learn about the Boston Tea Party. That's next year, seventh grade science, U.S. history. Um, or actually, that might be eighth grade, now that I think about it. Learn about King Tut, you will learn about King Tut. You might even write a story where you are in the story with King Tut. So now, notice Emma's had to create her own slideshow. So she does not have these other slides. So Emma, I'm gonna use your slide <clears throat> to talk about today's top slide. So if you're caught up, Emma's caught up, she's got this. The next slide that everybody's gonna do, if it's in, if you were able to open it, then you've got the directions. If you were not able to open it and had to create your own, then you're gonna look like Emma's. What did Emma do to create hers? She went up here, she went over to, let's first remember how to do that. You open a tab, you come over to this waffle, and I'm gonna show you something. This is for people that, also want to look at their slides not in Schoology. Once you open that slide in Schoology, you can always come back here and you can find it in this area. Notice I have access to Emma's right here. 
Now, if you open your own like Emma did, you need to share it with me and I'll teach you how to do that. But if you open your slide from this slideshow area, it will open as a regular slide document like this and you, it's easier to work on. So remember, the first thing is go into science, go into courses, science, look to the right. There's an assignment that says introduction to science, integrated learning. You click that, you try to open your slideshow. If it opens, you're doing great. If you get an icon that says request access, and then click that request access, send it to me, and then it'll open for you. If there's no slide there, because we have glitches right now, you just create your own. All right, let's talk about today's slide because we don't want to spend too much time. Now today, so this slide I'm going to show you right now, that's today's assignment. Tomorrow, Tuesday, when we come into class, first thing I'm going to do, just like I did today, we're going to look at some of your slides. And you're going to get to volunteer if you want to show it. Guess what the slide's about? You. Go up here, plus, arrow, title and bodies, using a good classic one. And then you can write anything you want here. I'm going to put all about Mr. Downs. All I want here is I want, what do you like? What's your favorite things to do? What makes you special? Did you know, even right now as I'm breathing, I'm slightly changing the air temperature in this house? If I was not in this house, if you were not in your house, my body temp is putting off heat. My breath is putting out, uh, uh, you know, fumes that change the, the way the air is. Everything you do impacts the environment. At the same time, the environment is impacting me. If this house was really cold right now, I'd have to have a jacket on. If it was too hot, then I'd be sweating. So the environment is impacting me and I'm impacting the environment. We're gonna talk about that the whole year. And guess what? Nobody on the planet, nobody in the universe impacts the environment like you do. Because you are so unique you're the only one anywhere in the world or the universe that's just like you. That's how important you are. So you have, when you make your decisions, you change things for the better. Sometimes we might change things for the worse if we're mean to our little brother or sister, but we can always say sorry and move on. So I want to know about you. So All About Mr. Downs is mine. You're going to say All About Fred or This Slide is All About Me or a day in the life of Emma, or Jordan and his favorite things. Anything you want, but remember, this slide is about you, not about me. I'm doing my slide right now to show you. So everybody should know how to make a title. Click to add text is easy. If you ever have a box like this and you want to delete it, if you see the words there and you hit delete button, it's gone. Now I don't have that box anymore, I only have this one. Sometimes people, if you're doing pictures, maybe you don't want a box. If you just want to use words, you can write a five to ten, maybe a three paragraph little story about you, what you like, and just like that. If you love pictures, watch this. I'm going to open a tab. I already have one here that I don't need, so I'm going to stick with that one. I'm going to type in motorcycles, because I like motorcycles. Uh, it says allow, that's fine. I'm going to click images. And I'm going to teach you some tricks. I like motorcycles. So I go and find a picture of a motorcycle. And I say, hmm, which one would I like? If I, could? I have a motorcycle, by the way. I ride it to work. So that's something you know about me. I've been wanting an e-bike. So I'm going to try. Uh, I don't like that one. This is a little cool. I like, eh, I want an e-bike. But I can't afford one now. But later I'll get it. Oh, there it is. Electric motorcycles. Wow. So usually you don't, you sometimes can click here and drag it in. But better is to click the image, find it at the next level. Now watch this. It's a little different on a Chromebook. On a mouse, I just click, I hold, I drag it into the slide that I want to put it in. If you just, that tab will open up, usually. Why isn't it opening up? Hello, oh, drop image here. That's a new thing for me. So let's try this a different way. I'm gonna go. That should open up. Maybe I have to go one level deeper. Sometimes you have to go one level deeper. Now I'm going to try, try it this way. I can drag it, not working that way. So now I do another thing. I right click, save image as, or I'm going to try not doing that. I'm going to try to do it the other way. Copy image, 
go in here. Let's see if it works. Sometimes you have some, there it is. Oh, baby, I'm getting excited about All About Me. So, I make that small. Now, I also like my dog. Now, some of you guys know how to take a, a picture. If you open up your apps, it will actually open up a camera and you can take a picture and you can bring that up off your Chromebook. I'm gonna teach you how to do all this later. Don't worry if you don't know how to do it today, but if you do know how to do it, go for it. Now there's another way, um, and we'll ask some of the kids in the class today, on Chromebooks a little different. On mine, it's Control, or Shift, Control, Shift, Shift, Command 4, and that opens up me a screenshot, and I can screenshot something, and it goes here. You guys also have that. Now remember, if you don't know how to screenshot on a Chromebook, what do you do? You go to Google Chrome, and you search, how do I screenshot on a Chromebook? And that way you screenshot just the picture, and then you upload it. How do you upload a file from your, from your uh, computer? You go up here, you go insert, image, upload from computer, you guys have the same thing. And I've got, let's say bears, because I like you guys and you guys are bears. So now I have a bears. Now, I'm gonna write at least five sentences with my pictures. So for example, now I wanna do a text box. Let's go insert text box. I can make that right above the motorcycle and I can say, I love motorcycles. They help me beat traffic and make, dri make driving fun. All right, so summary. You guys should know how to make a slide. If you don't know how to do pictures, don't worry about it. Just write words. I want to know all about you. What makes you unique? Do you speak more than one language? What are your favorite animals? What do you like to do? What's your favorite video games? How do you think the environment impacts you? How do you impact the environment a little bit? But don't worry about that too much because we're going to do that tomorrow. All right, top slide, all about you. Take a look at it. You've got your title slide. You've got your list of things you think you're going to learn. And now you have your all about me. This is your assignment for the day. Tomorrow we'll look at them. Have a great day in case I didn't see you in Zoom. If I do see you in Zoom, we'll do all this together. Over and out.